Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're going to do another example of how to find first the first partial derivative with respect to x, it's right here, and then we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to y. In this case, the function has a radical in it. And I always recommend that if you see a function with a radical, that you rewrite it as an exponential. This can now be written as x squared plus y cubed to the one-half power. So we'll have to use the chain rule when we take the partial derivative. So first we're going to take the partial derivative of the function with respect to x and that's going to be equal to one half times the quantity x squared plus y cubed to the minus one half power times the derivative of what's inside but it's the partial derivative with respect to x which means that y will be considered a constant you take the derivative of y cubed which is a constant that becomes zero and you take the derivative of x squared which becomes two times x and notice the, the two in the denominator will cancel out with the two in the numerator and we can write this as a denominator, so this can now be written as the partial of the function with respect to x is equal to x divided by the quantity x squared plus y cubed to the one-half power in the denominator. Now we're going to take the partial derivative of this with respect to the variable y. We take the denominator, because it's a quotient rule, x squared plus y cubed to the one-half power times the derivative of the denominator. Now notice this is with respect to y, therefore this becomes zero, minus the denominator times the derivative of the denominator, which is one-half times x squared plus y cubed to the minus one-half power times the derivative of what's inside with respect to y, which means the x squared term becomes a constant that will drop off, and we multiply this times 3y squared. And then we take, and then we divide that by the denominator squared, which is x squared plus y cubed quantity to the one-half power squared, which is simply x squared plus y cubed. Simplifying that, this of course goes to zero, because we're multiplying times zero, and here, Let's see here, this will go to denominator, and this can now be written as, we have a minus x, a three and a y squared in the numerator, that is minus three x y squared, divided by, the two goes to the denominator, and then the quantity x squared plus y cubed to the first power plus to the one half power when we bring this down, this will then be to the three halves power, and this is then the result. This is what we call the partial derivative of y which is of the function of the partial derivative of the function with respect to x. And that's how it's done.